I'm Brent Mitchell. I live in Mebane, North Carolina. My wife and I like to take walks. That's when we catch up. Uh, we're not just ships in the night. We get to take a chance to really uh, take some time to get together and talk. Changes in my hearing started where I started hearing a little bit of hissing in my ear and, and a little bit of ringing in my ears, which isn't really uncommon. And I had been told that that's, you know, I was getting, as I was getting older, that that would probably happen. There wasn't a really big deal. But as it progressed, I just started noticing it more and more and it became more annoying. The fullness in my ear and the ringing and the tinnitus, um, it certainly impacted the way that I, I talked with people and the way that they communicated with me. So that was a little frustrating, um, having to have people repeat themselves. And sometimes you just get to the point where you think, okay, I'm not, not gonna hear this person, so I'm just gonna kind of tune out. Not, not being able to hear is isolating from a social standpoint. Dr. Cunningham was great when I was first introduced to Duke Otolaryngology. It was just a great experience. Really appreciate the way that they pay attention to the individual. They really had a sincere interest in the whole picture as to what's happening with my hearing. They do have that solid understanding of I get where you're coming from, I understand where the issue is, but let's see what we can do to help you get there or get to a better place. To me, it wasn't a big deal to get my hearing checked and to, to try to move to the next level simply because I knew that it was something that was gonna help. And I couldn't go back the other way. I didn't wanna not get anything done. I really wanted to go forward. So getting my hearing checked and the possibility of getting hearing aids was actually kind of exciting. I was kind of geeky in that way. <laughs> I remember the first day when Dr. Catalano sat me down and she put the hearing aids on and then she was moving her mouth and so I could hear this little shh, shh, shh noise and I said, oh, it's your mouse. Wow. I didn't even know that I was missing that kind of a noise. I think it was the first night or second night that I had the hearing aids, we had some people over. We were sitting around the table and everybody was talking at once and this was one of those things where I thought, oh boy, here we go, I'm not going to be able to hear anything. I was having a conversation with a woman, across, our neighbor, across the table, and we were talking and I could hear every word she was saying, even though the others were, there were six others that were having a conversation at the same time, I could focus on the conversation that I was having with her, which was just tremendous. And my wife said afterward, I can't believe you had that conversation with Karen and that you actually heard her. I said, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> The ability to be able to put these on, key in and clue in to what's going on around me that I wasn't able to do before is just huge. It really makes a huge difference for me.